Knock him stone dead, baby. Turkey season's right around the corner, and I'm getting super pumped up about it. I hope you guys are too. But I've got something that I've had for probably about a month now, and I've never shown you guys. I'm very excited about it, and I've got some stuff planned for it. So let's just go ahead and dive on in here. I have dropped a lot of stuff there. This. This I just bought. I went to Rogers. Their Botex up there are awesome. So if you're ever around the Liberty, Missouri area and you need a bow or anything else, head over to Rogers Sporting Goods. They will hook you up and be very helpful. So this is my Matthews V3. The reason I purchased this is mainly to turkey hunt with. But after thinking about it more and more, I'm going to get into doing some deer hunting. Now, I don't know a thing or two about filming a deer hunt or anything like that. So bear with me this fall when we go deer hunting and we try and film it and do all that. But this spring, I'm gonna try and shoot a turkey with this bow. So I've only shot two turkeys. I just recently got into turkey hunting and I kind of got the itch to do more of it uh, after last year's hunt. So this year, I'm gonna try and get out early and use this to hopefully smack a tom. Now, I've been hearing a lot of things going around about who's going to hunt with Matt and Titus and all these people during turkey season. So I'll just come out and say it. I'm going to go up to Nebraska to get an early start at turkey season. Here in a couple of weeks, we're going to be up there shooting some turkeys, hopefully. So stay tuned for those videos. Matt and I are going to get out in the turkey woods and with our bows. And we'll see what kind of a train wreck it is, but it's going to be fun nonetheless. And a big challenge, which uh, makes things a lot of fun. So a little bit of info on this bow. It's a Matthews V3. It's got a 31 inch axle to axle. I've got a uh, CBE SL4 sight. I don't know a thing or two about all this stuff. I just kind of went with what the Bowtex at Rogers said was good. I've got a Trophy Ridge Whisker Biscuit. Um, got a release. And then my arrows I'm using are Easton Axis arrows. So. That's kind of the setup. I do need to get some broadheads. I'm going to use expandable broadheads on turkeys so then I can get the most out of my arrow and hopefully nick a vital because I mean you got to hit like a tennis ball sized target on a turkey to hit the vitals. So I'm going to try and get dialed in. I've got the 20 yard pin sighted in pretty good. So I'm pretty confident with enough practice I can start hitting at 20 but I'm hoping that I can shoot a turkey between you know like uh 10 to 15 yards so that's where I'm going to spend most of my practice 20 yards is getting out there a little bit so with the turkeys I'm going to try and shoot them between 10 and 15 so that's where most of my practice is going to be going towards uh, keep in mind I haven't been practicing very much because it's been so cold so now I'm finally getting a chance to shoot a lot more yeah not horrible not great kind of middle of the road here i'm just gonna need some more practice as well practice makes perfect especially with archery but i've been pretty consistent with hitting in here i'm having to aim low because the first pin i have is 20 so i'm kind of aiming here to try and hit here Feeling pretty good about this now. Just gonna get better and better every single day. 
practice, 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 you know? I'm also kind of interested to look at this video and see my shooting form and see if there's anything I need to correct. Because, like, you can think about it all you want, but once you see it on video, you know, it's there. I'll take that. Much better. Holy smokes, that's so much better. So this was at, uh, this was at 15 yards. So I was aiming for this one here, this one here, this one here, and then kind of in this triangle area between the circles is where I was aiming. So pretty solid hits on all of those. If that's a turkey, it's dead. So I'm pretty pumped about turkey season coming up. I'm excited to try shooting something with a bow for the first time. And uh, you know, this might be the beginning of a new addiction bow hunting. I might bow hunt some geese next year too, so uh, stay tuned for that. But um, you know, I'm, I'm ready to just kind of try all kinds of new stuff this year. I've got a feeling like this bow is just the beginning. We're going to bow hunt turkeys. We're going to bow hunt deer in the fall. I'm not after any kind of big bucks, so I'm just going to try and shoot a couple deer, fill the freezer, and keep waterfowl hunting. But um, you know, I might, might end up doing some different stuff next year, so stay tuned kind of trying to think through things right now and um, we'll see how it goes but if you guys are excited about turkey season let me know down in the comments and if you shoot a bow let me know down in the comments what you guys like to shoot um, I'm really pleased with this v3 it's pretty smooth I don't know anything about bows really all I know is that I tried the Hoyt I tried the Matthews I tried the 31 and the 27 in the Matthews and I like the 31 the best so um, yeah that's it for today Wanted to give you guys a little scoop on what's about to happen and uh, letting you guys know that I bought a bow. So if you guys enjoyed this, leave me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you on the next video.